Hello, and welcome to Moisture Matters, the show where we take your everyday and not so everyday objects and test them to see which has more moisture. Today, we'll be doing something a little bit different. We're testing the moisture content and ash content of wood pellets and lump charcoal. So, which do you think will have more moisture and which do you think will have a higher ash content? Let's find out. For today's test, we've chosen soft wood pellets and standard lump charcoal we picked up at our local home improvement store. Because we are performing both moisture and ash testing on these samples, we selected the proper test programs and linked the moisture test to the ash test on our CompuTrack Max 5000 XL. After placing the sample pans on the pan support, we zeroed the balances and placed an appropriate amount of sample on each pan. Both the wood pellets and the lump charcoal were ground using a mortar and pestle to increase their surface areas. Once the samples were loaded, we closed the lid on each analyzer and began the test. Moisture content is an essential characteristic of wood pellets and charcoal alike. It helps determine vital characteristic of each product, including burn time and heat intensity. An excess of moisture decreases pellet density and durability, resulting in a weakened, sometimes even soft, final product. Too little moisture, on the other hand, can lead to fragile cracked pellets and charcoal. Too much moisture also inhibits heat intensity because more energy is used driving off the moisture rather than burning the wood. Ash content is another important quality that manufacturers of biomass products monitor. Wood pellet manufacturers in particular have to report the ash content of their products to the PFI standards program if they want to mark their products as PFI graded fuel. Since higher ash content means that there is more material present that's not combustible, heat intensity of higher ash materials tends to be lower than the materials with a lower ash content. As a general rule of thumb, the lower the ash content, the higher quality of the pellet or other material that is being burned. With our test completed, you can see that the wood pellets have approximately 75% more moisture than the lump charcoal. This could be due to different drying specifications. It could also be because the charcoal we use is made from wood logs that have undergone pyrolysis, which is a process that drives out water and other organic materials so that the resulting product has greater BTUs per pound than the wood from which it originated. The lump charcoal had approximately 10 times the ash content as the wood pellets. This could be because the wood pellets are made entirely of wood that has been ground into sawdust and extruded at a high pressure. For premium pellets, like those used in this test, the bark has even been removed to create a more pure pellet. Thanks for joining us on Moisture Matters. We hope you learned something today, or at least enjoyed watching us test the moisture and ash content of wood pellets and lump charcoal. If you did, let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, in matters of moisture, nothing matters more than moisture matters. And ash. If you like this video, click on the box to the left to check out some of our other Moisture Matters videos. Have something you want us to test? Suggest the next Moisture Matters topic by clicking on the box to the right.